So here we are, the Three Sisters Wilderness. Very important first thing that we do is take everything out of the pack that we really don't want to bring with us. But there are other things that, like the red wine, which might be very important to bring. So very important decision making process going on here. I think and, it's uh, a no, no brainer. It's a, really sounds like the red wine's coming. So have to eat a bit of lunch and then we'll have a start on the hike to the Foley Creek Trailhead. So you really think that's going to burn? So what we're going to do, we're going to burn enough wood in here so that we get a uh, high temperature, a lot of flames, uh -huh. a lot of uh, red hot coal what a, what a and then we're going to stump this on top of it. What a I, I don't think it'll work. I'm skeptical. <laughs> I'm very skeptical. Let's burn it Let's burn it in half first. What we need to do, we need to have a like a, to hold this area. Especially on the uh, on the sides, because when we're going to we're going to stump this in the middle. Yeah. You're going to put that right in the middle, and you think it's just going to flame on and burn. Sure. Yeah. You think so too, Thomas? Yes, I do. You don't think it'd be better to maybe get some of that other wood over there and burn it in half and stuff first, huh? Well, we'll, we'll try this one. You can do that. Later. All right. <laughs> You're welcome to try this. All right. <laughs> The one where we have in the post tectronics kind of a lunch buffet. That's good. Dear friend, I lived in Britain several years. <laughs> I know the difference between good and bad Indian food. <laughs> huh? <laughs> mm. I'm watching too much Simpson. Yeah. You know, with Quickie, Quickie Mark. Is that on The Simpsons? Yeah. Yeah, he's. Uh, he's uh, you know, it's it's not on 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 in, our, in my home anymore. That one's been. Tommy you to it. Okay, now we have the whacking great log on the fire, and we're going to see. If it burns, I tell you, it's gonna burn. It's There's gonna no burn for like bloody forever. You think so? Uh, I'm gonna have yeah. to stay up the whole. No. There's no way you can, you can uh, extinguish it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good, good call, Thomas. You see, it's burning already. Well, that's a good thing. We need, we need firewood. Go, Thomas. Build the fire ring. So how much? How much would it cost? Cost to us if there's a forest fire and we burn like seven thousand acres or something? Oh, we'd go to jail forever. <laughs> On the day hike up to the Pacific Crest Trail. Fighting off the mosquitoes as we go. So here we are, lunch break on the hike, view of the day, South Sister. And a little R&R. &R. All right. 
some kind. Okay, Auntie. So you, yeah. you told me about this word puko. So tell me what what's the background? What's the story so, behind puko? Puko is something that is uh, integral part of Finnish life. Uh -huh. No Finn goes to the forest without the without a puko. Uh -huh. Puko is it's just a knife, but it's not any kind of a knife. It's uh, something like this. This is my puko. Uh -huh. Everybody has their favorite pukos, and uh, mine is this is a Finnish uh, army officer's puko. I got it in the officer school. Mm -hmm. It has all the numbers. Uh, Reserves officer school, 168, and uh, the course name and all that. But it's really important part of Finnish culture. People used to go walk around with pukos like this, and of course nowadays in cities you don't do that. It would be illegal. But in the uh, uh, rural parts of Finland, you can still see people carrying pukos, mm -hmm. and uh, even still, when you go hiking or something like that, the one thing you definitely take with you is your puko, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I'm not the only one carrying puko in here. Thomas also has his. Mm. his Thomas puko. has a puko. Yeah, I, can, I can continue the story. And okay, say that, you, you uh, continue the story. You know, uh, you know, puko is also uh, something that's in the Swedish culture uh -huh. because this particular one is called Mura. Mura. Mura is actually a little village in Sweden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're pretty famous for making. So it says Mura, made in Sweden, mm -hmm. and it's. Uh, you know, even even when you see folk dance in Sweden and Finland, you know, with the official costume and everything, the uh, the part of the part of the costume is always to have a couple of pukos hanging mm -hmm. hanging in the belt. Mm -hmm. So you know that that's 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 how integrated it is into the culture. There's there's an additional thing about the Finnish pukos and the Swedish pukos. So uh, Mura, the Swedish puko. Um, in, in those parts of Finland where the famous puko factories are and the famous uh, families who have been making pukos for hundreds and hundreds of years, if somebody gets stabbed, the question that is the first one, the first question that it, it gets asked, you didn't stab him with Mura, because that would be disgraceful, stabbing somebody in Finland with the Swedish puko. Oh, yeah. But, but the, it, most, of the, most of the homicide and the homicides and violent crimes uh, in Finland, actually, still, they happen uh, with 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 this. It's an important part of the culture. I mean, didn't you have somebody? You, you were told, Thomas. You were talking about somebody who who got stabbed. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually not my cousin. It's my kid's cousin, mm -hmm. and he got stabbed by his. Uh, Did he die? Yes, he died by his former uh, former girlfriend's boyfriend mm -hmm. stabbed him. No, he's. His girlfriend's former boyfriend stabbed him in the middle of the day on a yard, you know, Kerrostalo, uh, with lots apartment. of people around. Yeah. Wow. Just got jealous. Yeah. Okay. Puka is used. Puka is very much used to solve problems in Finland. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> people go, two or three guys go drinking and they have their pukos and they start to talk about things that have been problematic in the past. It typically ends up with the police. And the highlight of the hike, the waterfalls. So we have another very important Finnish cultural topic to discuss, and that is about Sisu. So maybe each of you can tell me what your interpretation of Sisu is. Well, first of all, there's, there's no translation of the word Sisu even into Swedish language. This kind of makes it very unique. Sis Sisu is Sisu. For Swedes and Finns, Norwegians and Danes, Sisu is Sisu. There's no translation. Mm -hmm. So what's the meaning of it? The meaning of it is 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 uh, 
it, it, the, the kind of a, the heart of it is is that don't give up. That's 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 the heart of, heart of the whole thing. And it's like it it it's it comes. It's something when you say that I'm gonna. This requires Sisu to do. It's something that is really difficult, almost impossible, and you go and do it, and. It, it, it doesn't matter if you spill your guts out while you're doing it, mm -hmm. because you have just said, "I'm gonna do this." It's it's just it is, and 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 some people, some other cultures view that as as complete madness, but it has taken uh, Finns through very very difficult times, and and it's it's a it's an extremely important value. If you don't, if you if you don't have sisu, if you can't turn that gear sisu gear on, I mean, you're really not a man. And this is the first aid part of the trip, getting ready for the big hike out. This is self-administering blister relief. Auntie's going to take some Sisu pills, and we're going to be out of here. Isn't that right, Auntie? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, Auntie, here's the end of the hike. So was that worth it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wasn't that fun? me, but it was great. What do you think, Thomas? Oh, yes, of course. Of course. I must say that the, the last, well, the, the six miles today was, you know, kind of, I was worried about them. Kind of tough, yeah. But you know, they weren't at the end. You know, you managed pretty well. Yeah. Now it's time to get clean.